Okay guys, I want to show how I do my cases. Um, Hobby Lobby. I think these cases, this size, were, that's 16 by 20. I think they were like 40, 45 dollars. It has it on the... Yeah, 34.99. And um, ended up getting them today for 19 bucks each because they're on uh, sale at Hobby Lobby. So I went ahead and took the plastic off of this one. So I just wanted to show you what you got here. I'm gonna show you how to take a cheap case and turn it into a case that looks like it's worth something. Um, the Daycron in here is thick on one side and the other side is super thin. I mean, it's super thin here and it's thick there. You can't see my can, but up here it's thin. So what I'm gonna do is, there's no gap, and it's a lot of times you'll get them, and the daycron will be rolled up here on the edge. And what I'm gonna wanna do is, I've already started cutting this one. You wanna cut a little bit off to where that you can pull the top down just a little bit and have enough for the material to roll under this piece. You can use this piece once you get it cut, and if the sides need it a little bit, you cut just a little bit off the sides to where you can roll. I think it's gonna be pretty close once I cut this bottom. But then I'll use the red felt and show you what I do there and how I get the arrowheads to stay in place. So on to the next video in just a minute. Okay guys, I cut it. And as you can see, you got just a little bit right there for it to roll under the red felt. You want to trim it out to where that you got just a little bit. The sides are about the same way. You got a little bit here. I can slide it over a little bit and have about the same amount on both sides. So you want to cut to where you got just enough of a gap to where you can roll the red felt over top of it. All right. Okay, what I'm using is black Gorilla Tape. It seems to work really well. Uh, over here, I want to show you I've cut this to fit the case and have just a little bit of slack. And what I want to do is I want to take the red felt and just roll it up to where it's not bunching up the Daycron. You just want to roll over the edge. And you might have to, if it's not fitting, you might have to pull the tape up and pull it back a little bit to make it fit the case perfect. But I've been doing pretty good by just barely rolling it up and not putting too much pressure on the edge of the Daycron. Pre-cutting my tape, I think I cut about 16 pieces. So, then you come here in the middle, roll it up to the edge. Piece there. And then on the edges, what I do on the edge is I wanna kinda push this in a little bit right here to where that it pulls this corner in a little bit to where that I can pull it over and make the edge square like that. Put that in there. Same thing here. You want to roll it in without bunching up the Daycron. Come straight over. Put that piece on there. Then I'll put another little piece here and here in a minute. And before I completely tape it down, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a pre-fit and see if it's going to fit then I'll check out the rest of it. I might have to pull that a little tighter and under. So 
So what I'm gonna do is one side's thinner and I can tell it's this side. You see it's kind of caved in there. I'm gonna take paper towels and I'm gonna put them behind this to build this backing up to where that when I put my points in here and the glass hits the top of the point, it's gonna push down on it and it's not gonna move. So I'll let you know when we start the next step, guys. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I just took basically, you got sections here. You know, one, two, three sections on these paper towels. And I just overlapped the bottom one come over to about here and I overlapped the top one over. It's gonna make the middle a little bit thicker. And then I'm gonna end up putting, since the Dacron is thinner on the top, I'm probably gonna put my bigger points on the bottom and my thinner points up towards the top on this case. Um, so what I'll probably do is I'll put probably about four or five layers here and then I'll come in on the sides and just pull off one little strip of this here and run them down this way to thicken this up. And I'll probably do like six or seven layers up here and then I'll do three or four my four or five down here and then I'll put some side strips in here and then I'll lay my uh, stuff back on the top here and I'll see if it's like mashing up against the glass uh, the felt needs to be mashing up against the glass whenever I close the lid um, and once I get it to that point and feel like that it's going to push down enough on the arrowhead then I should be where I need to be so we'll start with that and I'll get back with you in a second. Okay guys, I've put quite a few layers, of paper towels in here and it feels padded. Now you gotta take into consideration your Dacron and your felt over here, the padding in there too. So I've went ahead and padded it up. Now, if you get it done, you put your points in there and they're moving still, you'll need to take the Dacron and the felt back out, put a few more paper towels in underneath it to tighten everything up. So we'll be back in a minute. Okay guys, as you can see, it's sticking up quite a bit above the top of the case. So let's go ahead and shut the lid. Of course, this uh, you'll definitely have to take some uh, Windex and clean the inside and outside of this glass because it's always nasty from that packaging material. Close the lid. Looks like we still got a few little places right here. It could probably be a little bit tighter up at the top. I might take it back out and put a couple more paper towels up there. So let's do that we'll get back with you. All right guys. I've got it pretty much tied up against the glass, pressing down pretty good. There's a couple little wrinkles here or there, but once you put a point in there and it puts pressure on it, it's going to smooth it out. So, and the good thing about these black cases is if you get a little nick or something, you know, when you first buy it, if you see it in there, don't worry about it. Just get home and hit it with a permanent black Sharpie and uh, you won't even see it. That's the good thing about these cases, they get nicked. Okay, let's uh, put the points in it and uh, see how it looks. All right guys, we'll get back to you. Okay guys, I got them all placed and I'm getting ready to close the lid. And we'll see what we got here. I want you to see how it mashes down on the points. Now watch them as it goes across. See, it's pushing them down. So now they're indented down into the padding and you might end up having to, if you have one move, you might end up having to move it with a thicker one, put a thicker one up there, and move a thinner one down to a place that might be a little higher. Let's see here if we're gonna move. And no, we're not. I can hang that on the wall. So there we go, guys. There's another case. I consolidated one and a half cases. I think if they're real tight in there and you got a bunch in there, uh, 
that don't look as good as if you give them a little breathing room. So there you go, guys. That's how you put a case together, $20 case from Hobby Lobby and make it look <coughs> like it's an expensive case. $20 if it's on sale. If it's on sale. Yeah, you know, I told them that at the beginning of the video. A lot of times you can go to Hobby Lobby and just about, from my experience, every other week they have a 50% off sale on these frames. So if you catch them at the right moment, if you can't catch them at the right moment, you can always go back a week later and most usually find what you're looking for. So. Okay, guys, like and subscribe. We'll get back with you. We've got to take a trip tomorrow. Uh, probably, we might try to arrowhead hunt tomorrow if we can find a place to go. So maybe we'll be back with you with a video tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.